Uh, let's see. Hey, everybody. Ooh. Our game's about to start. Uh, they're picking a map. Oh, oh, God. Oh, please, please no. no. Please, I no. wouldn't be Jesus. surprised if they please. veto it. it please. please. Yeah, Anything they're vetoing. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I actually like the idea of that map. I just think the It's really cool. No, it's, it's a really cool idea. It's just... I don't know, like, I hate the green lines. The green lines hurt my eyes. Um, and it's just, there's so much big crap everywhere. Yeah, it, it just, yeah. So let, uh, let's Great introduce, um, I'm Sploosh, hosting the stream. I have Blizzard with me, my podcast co-host, and Mark Garo, is it? GD Nerd, Roster Doctor. Uh, Juro. Juro, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I'm we're going to be your you. commentators. <laughs> uh, Mike DeLuca versus Matt Alex. Two guys who believe in using their normal name, apparently. Uh, who won Pryo, guys? Did you catch it? Uh, it is Matt. Yeah, considering Mike uh, picked Extracts. Uh, yeah. So, Cosmic Invasion wow. Black Order descends on Earth and scrolls infiltrate world leadership. Ooh, Holy wee. crap, they did not waste any time. These guys thought about what they're doing. They uh, practiced. put up the streamer view. Yeah, so with a D and a C combination, well, with the C kind of being dead, I'm expecting Dormammu here plays for parody and just says, I'm not going to try and find the scroll. If you try and find the scroll, I will hunt you and kill you if you find the scroll. And, 16th uh, threat. Dude, I don't, I think we got web warriors. So I guess the big question is 16th threat. Are we going to see five or six wide? Five. He does like I don't know. Dormammu is gonna go super narrow, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I have and super super admin mode, so I can stare at their lists. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I, I probably can't answer. I, I think the people can see it now. So, oh, we got I mean, people can, talking in chat. I can see your screen too, so it's okay. I hope the audio levels are good. Please, uh, people listening, if you could let us know if anyone's too quiet, now's the time. Uh, yeah, and yeah. just so all the chat knows, the appropriate audio levels is that I'm twice as loud as everyone else. I feel like that's <laughs> the only fair distribution of volume in this chat. Yeah. It's coming in. I think you're just... Already. <laughs> okay, so I really like uh, Mike's... Um, Choice of board edge here. Um, I think the damage control truck being mildly annoying for Matt Alex on his home vault is nice. Sure, he gets to hide behind it, but it's still kind of awkward to unpack around. Okay, so we're seeing... Uh, okay. Uh, so we are seeing five wide web warriors, it looks like. Um, Against so five seeing... wide web warriors. <laughs> yeah. There it is. So, if anybody came for Dormammu, uh, sorry. You're going to have to watch the other games that we had played last week. Uh, for the uh, Mike's side, we've got Miles Morales, Enchantress, Moon Knight, Valkyrie, Ghost Spider. For the Pure Web Warrior side, we've got Miles, Enchantress, Moon Knight, Black Cat, Ghost Spider. So two very similar teams here. Um, how much do you think that Black Cat versus Valkyrie is going to make the difference here? Obviously, Valkyrie is a lot more relevant for helping you win those secures, and she's, of course, an absolute blender when you're playing the Doom Prophecy version. Um, but Black Cat does have a lot of clutch factor here with the scroll pickup. Hmm. That's that's the thing, is like if Black Cat can or sorry, if Mike can like get the scroll first, it almost doesn't even matter because then Matt's gonna go and steal it and then run away and then that's gonna be two points every single turn so i think black cat might be an edge here yeah uh, so to me the narrative of this game is when does the scroll get found who finds it and matt alex is the presumptive better person at finding and retaining due to having prio and black cat yeah um and enchantress it, it, though there's like there's an absolutely absurd amount of extract theft on both sides. Oh, yeah. There's He's... five characters across both teams that uh, have some kind of extract drop or steal ability. Ugh. Mm, oh, yeah. Um, how do you turn that top down view on again? Top down on. Uh, bottom right. left of the mod settings panel. Yeah. Just got it. All right. 
I know some people hate top down, but at least for this setup, I'm going to leave it. So how do you guys feel about actually committing Black Cat to a flank? Personally, I would have preferred to have seen her um, like kind of where uh, the easternmost crosswalk is, or the middle of the three crosswalks in Matt Alex's deploy, so that she can run around the cosmic, uh, or the damage control truck to any of the three decoys. It's gonna screw him if the, it's gonna screw him if the scroll is on the complete opposite side. Like, yeah, and his, I guess his, he has Enchantress there. His his leverage of having Black Cat when um, Mike doesn't is completely gone if the scroll's on the other side. It's gone until he gets her over there. Like if he puts her more central and Mike's able to get the scroll before he does, then he has some game with it. But he basically threw away his leverage that he has round one. Okay. So deployment done. We've got a Moon Nightmare in the top. Um, though Matt's uh, Enchantress is threatening. Uh, actually, I guess before we proceed, because we are using our uh, own views, what is the angle that you subscribe to? Is Mike on the left, Matt Alex on the left? And yeah, therefore the I put Tracer blue on, on the left. Like to follow the stream review, I'm going to stay with that. So okay, blue, perfect. Blue so when blue. I say northwest, east, south, it's in line with what your uh, viewers are seeing. Okay, so we're just seeing some early hedge moves. So both of the Mileses are just going to hold their respective Cosmic Vaults as they try and bait out actual meaningful midline activations. Um, so I expect to see Valkyrie and Enchantress as late as humanly possible on Mike's side. Um, and the same with uh, Black Cat and Enchantress on Matt's side. Uh... Um, and it looks like we just had a Moon Knight activation who for his crazy rolled a hit which, of course, as everybody knows, is bonus two dice to his next attack roll. Um, you which you always really get it on, your... on turn yeah. one. <laughs> you always get it. You always get it round one. You'll you'll never get the crit round one. <laughs> like <laughs> I've actually witnessed like four crits in four games in a row. I don't know oh, what's going on. Uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but Black Cat wasn't actually at the very top. She's down at the bottom now. I thought he had put her at the top. No, no, no. She uh, committed her down to the yeah. south side with Gwen. Okay, so Moon Knight's just going to chill on a dumpster on the portal. Is he going to roll for the scroll? It looks like no. Yeah, I think that would be a bad idea. Then you have... Uh, Is it? Ghost, yeah, Ghost Spider would pull him off, and then Moon Knight could like, go to town on him. Uh, that might happen anyway, yeah. apparently. Yeah, the problem is it costs advanced R and D because she can't get into stealth range, and so that, that's oh. where I question the value of it. Man, how do I forget that so often with the stealth? Mm. Geeky. This is not something so to now think Mike's about. looking to see if he can uh, do it to Moon Knight, the Zone Moon Knight, and uh, by virtue of how he deployed, unfortunately, he can't. Uh, in retrospect, I think that uh, Mike's Moon Knight deployment was a little bit of a mistake. It should have been a little bit north towards the crosswalk end on his deploy so that he actually could threaten Moon Knight if he wanted. Yeah, I think uh, he was trying to move. hedge, but I think <clears throat> it cost him. Yeah, I, I think that was just muscle memory uh, biting him in the butt, because Moon Knight is never a character that you're going to use to hedge towards the center um, in any way that the game unfolds. Um, so I found that to be a little bit odd. Do you think um, Mike will so roll for like, scroll? I oh. think he might. I think it depends on... Um, what it looks like for Enchantress. So I would like to see him move to max one directly away from Enchantress, basically describing that line. Yeah, and then right uh, try and eyeball whether Enchantress actually has the double move steal this round. If she doesn't, I would seriously consider it. Nope, he doesn't want Because it. you have, still have Gwen. Um, uh, to pull oh, Enchantress Mike rolled away. a skull on his uh, personality. That's unfortunate. Wow, wow. <laughs> Both Moon Knights woke up uh, on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Grumpy. Yeah, though, if you think about it, there's uh, there's a 50-50 chance that you essentially get um, uh, nothing valuable on the first round. Because uh, mm. if you get either the two hits, the wild or the skull, it probably doesn't matter unless you've got a single move attack line up, right? So it was essentially a coin flip for both of these Moon Knights for relevance, because they sense. weren't going to have valid attack targets. Yeah, turn one for sure, yep. Okay, so it looks like Valkyrie's going up. Um, is there a dumpster standing spot on this side? He's trying to on get there? around the obvious ghost spider pole.
But like, he's not really protected if he just opts to throw her. Oh, is he, and he still not... has an Enchantress. I think backstopping himself is a bit of a mistake. So he did spend two power. He's throwing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, the backstop makes sense, so she can't get a freebie push, right? Yeah, and Gwen can't actually stand on the point and pull Valkyrie off unless uh, Advanced R and D comes into play. And Mike still got enchanted, so there's no way he doesn't win the South Point unless uh, Matt brings his Enchantress South as well. But that's a completely extra can of worms. You know, um, this pretty decent action here, but we probably do want to discuss the tactics cards differences here. It's quite pretty different things going on. Yeah, so Mike's got advanced R and D. All you've got Doom Prophecy, Blind Obsession, all webbed up. Whereas Matt has Spider Tracker. All you've got advanced R and D, Field Dressing, and all webbed up. So Mike's obviously got a more aggressive setup here because he had to make roster building concessions for Dormammu, where you actually want that Doom Prophecy a hell of a lot more than Web Warriors uh, character would traditionally. Um, but it does actually work very well with Moon Knight and Valkyrie here. So I think we're going to see wow. a lot about it with it. Look at the roll on Matt. Jesus. Okay. Um, I guess we're just out Val here one-shotting Valkyrie. Valk took three, I guess. It's pretty lucky uh, for both parties, I suppose, because, you know, Valkyries don't often block three, and uh, four dice attacks don't often do five. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, he's living the dream. Normally, I don't look to do this because it's so risky, but you can single move punch, and if you get uh, walk onto the point, and if you get power, pull someone off, right? And so that's what he went for here, and uh, it kind of worked in a uh, spectacular fashion. Uh, yeah. Pushing through three damage, pulling her off. Um, oh, he's, he, I think he's trying to set up like a Miles attack or something. Uh, Miles is already gone, so it would have oh, to be. Oh, he's just chilling round. in the back. I don't know what he's doing with that positioning then. Uh, so Miles was just a stall move because they were trying to bait out each other. Um, okay, so here I would very much like to see Enchantress just double move, bow off Ghost Spider, and then you're threatening to advance to R and D, double move Gwen, pull Moon Knight off the point, go three uh, three one here. Um, depending on what uh, enemy Enchantress does. Yeah, I think he's setting up for some beam action, or at least a threat. Oh, right? yeah. Uh, Enchantress is going to cause some violence very soon, I think. Yeah, Not both, of, round, these, both of these characters aren't great into Enchantress. He needs to think about the fact that that objective may push him off so i think he's kind of doing that but not well he could have done that better i think he could have been mid dumpster right uh well it's a way so he might be okay but yeah i think uh, you're right if he went just a little bit more to the left of it yeah then he'd probably not be able to be moved at all like now he is he he's got a line to get pushed off Okay, yeah, I like this setup. And then here he's just kind of in a waiting position where he sees what Enchantress does, and based on how she goes, Gwen goes. But I think it's very likely that we see Gwen double move R and D pull somebody off because it gets you to two one or three one. Okay, yeah. So Gwen pulling enemy Moon Knight off or Enchantress off that point, I would like to see. Yeah. There's also the comparably amusing just run Gwen at the enemy cosmic vault to contest Miles. And just say, sure, you have your island up there, but who cares? Yeah, Morgan's saying that Matt's probably relieved to not have to see Dormammu. Yeah, winning Pryo was huge there for avoiding Dormammu, I think. Well, he's maybe forgetting I... that stealth again. <laughs> I mean, if he goes up and screws it up, he can always just attack Enchantress now. Um, but I mean, it might be going up, attack Enchantress, and then... Maybe R&D's here, 
and then no, pulls I think no, punches. I, no, he no, shoots Enchantress and then no, pulls no, no, Moon Knight. Pull Enchantress off pull Puncher, walk onto the point. Oh, he's Moon not going Knight. to, though. I think he's doing it because he sees the push and he's got the wild. Yeah, he's got the wild. That is huge. So he is going to prevent. Oh, any damn. Swing. Yes, he's going to get the power to pull them both off. Well, he pushes one he off. He pushed one. Either. Yeah, yeah. He's got the push and pull. That's massive. That's going to swing the point score here. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, he's not going to be able to actually score the point, but going up 2-1 in his favor is going to be huge because this game is about kind of who has inevitability going into the final round, forcing somebody to be desperate enough to actually pick up the sprint. I will say having Moon Knight near you is kind of scary, though. Uh, Moon yeah, in. thankfully, he doesn't need to be that near her. Um, so he's essentially debating whether he pulls uh, Moon Knight West. Moon Knight next to Moon Knight. South. Yeah, so I, I assume that if he pulls Moon Knight uh, more West, that he's going to ensure that he's outside of two of Moon Knight. Uh, this his own Moon Knight. Um, next turn's going like to get crazy, man. Check is whether his Moon Knight has cover from where he's standing uh versus the other moon knight can you check that i think he's out though for cover right oh, oh I, yeah. I don't have tools it looks like he's out and his opponent is in so i think he just actually yeah. gave his opponent a big advantage in the moon knight uh quote unquote mirror yeah which get, tells me that we've seen potentially two misplays here the enchantress placement for mike and that push right there could he's giving his opponent cover And so here, I don't expect to see a Doom Prophecy. Uh, I think here oh. you're trying to hold it for whenever uh, Matt slips up and gives you Pryo. Because again, you're up on VPs. You've got the last activation. If Matt doesn't daze you before you go somewhere, that's just going to continue indefinitely. We may, you might never see Doom Prophecy in this game. If he never gets Pryo, he's just not going to use it. Exactly. It, it's purely for if Matt gives him Pryo at any stage. The only character that isn't weak. Okay, they're waiting, waiting on cleanup, according to chat. Yeah, I well, I can't hit it for him. Um, I mean, it's showing cleanup on my side. Uh, the only character that uh, sucks into Doom Prophecy is Enchantress. But pretty much cleanup's it. gone through. They're doing power phase right now. Uh, what's the exact timing on Cosmic Invasion? So it is during the power phase, so we're going oh. to be seeing the power phase rolled momentarily. It looks like Miles for Matt Alex gets pushed. Which is fun for power. Yeah, he already had two anyway, yeah. so I don't so think couldn't... it's that much of a difference for Miles. He may um, have wanted to do like a jump attack run away on Valkyrie, and now that just got stolen from him, maybe? Yeah. Um, and then it looks like uh, <laughs> Miles Kyle gets pushed. Gets <laughs> um, who has to go in a very similar angle and has a similar power predicament, as we would call it. Uh, though I think he had less juicy targets, so I think Mike is happier here because his uh, Miles was less actionable. And Enchantress does not have to move. So I went and double checked this. Uh, you cannot do Spider Tracker off of a um, portal's push. It's actually move action. I wasn't sure uh, what movement types it restricted the Spider Tracker move to. But since these are pushes and not a move action, uh, Spider Tracker is not online. And so right here, I think Matt is in a bit of a predicament because he wants to immediately go and deal with Enchantress, ideally, because an Enchantress can do everything she's going to do without moving, right? Whereas Valkyrie, you at least get a spider tracker to maybe screw things up. Oh, we're um, getting a spender on uh, Cat. Yeah, so this is going to be into Enchantress. So smart play, just fishing for the stack. Ooh, big block. Not do any damage. Yeah, it would have been only uh, one, but still nice to nice. take no damage. Stagger, no damage. Then, did she? Uh, she oh, did no wild, you said? Trigger. Yeah. 
No elusive triggers. That's rough. Dude, when that elusive trigger goes off, like, Black Hat feels so good. And then sometimes it doesn't. Yep. So now she's going to move on to the point, and Matt needs to be very careful to not place her within two of Valkyrie so that he can hold up... Um... Oh, well, she's on zero power anyway, so that doesn't matter for this case. So the top priority is just staying outside of three of... Uh, Enchantress, so she has to yeah. actually move to be able to bow you, which then means you would get to Spider Tracker Gwen and probably screw the whole thing. Uh, I bet Maybe. he was hoping to elusive run away to the back point, and now he just is stuck where he is. Yeah. What would you do if you're Mike here? Like, I just I just ignore this interaction on this side and like go up there yeah, to the top. So Mike Mike's starting to realize the gravity of his mistake with the Moon Knight because he really wants to do his Moon Knight into enemy Moon Knight right here, I think. Um and the fact that he accidentally gave cover to the enemy Moon Knight while not even granting it to himself, I think is very problematic for that. Um I don't think you want to go with Gwen. I don't think you want to go with Miles. I, I think it has to be your Moon Knight is the problem. I don't want to go with Gwen to get the hell out of there. You're up on points. Let him have it for a turn and just save your Gwen. Yeah, that might be the play. Do something like impact webbing Moon Knight just to like put some distance between you and him and then walk straight away onto your cosmic vault. Not only that, but he could push oh, Moon Knight to giving doing Moon Knight. Mike. Moon Knight's oh my gosh, he no got another benefit. skull. <laughs> oh, that's tough, man. Moon Knight's personalities. So it looks like he's going to do something onto the enemy Moon Knight. Um, looks like a rapid fire, I guess, because he was outside of two, right? Oh, his dice are failing him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, he got um, the hit. He gets the pop. He got, he got yeah. the hit, but still. It might be possible he just runs his Moon Knight away after this. Three successes? Not bad. I mean, two with cover, and he's getting more rerolls, but yeah, so one through. We take those. I think you run Moon Knight away, man. Oh, wait, he has the avatar thing. Maybe he can, like, do some kind of push teleport shenanigans. Morgan Reed in the chat he asking did it. for Mike to reveal all of his Dormammu tech. Um, sorry, what's going? He's <laughs> doing the spender. Yeah, that might be more of a postseason question, Morgan. We'll see. But I think he's going to be very cagey in the post, assuming he wins. So he just did the conchu thing? Yep. So all the effects are automatic. So he has to do the push first, and then he places. Before damage dealt, push away short. Uh, yeah. Moon Knight still gets cover here, so... I don't know yeah. if they're... Uh, they, they... Well, you, uh, yeah, that's for the judges to bring up, but they yeah. apply cover, because he only took one damage from the attack. Yeah. Um. Wait. It, um, yeah. No. No. He took two. He's supposed to only have one. No. He took one. The no, first it's a, time. It's a May push. So he elected to not push here. That's oh, that's right. He did one. Okay. Sorry. But um. But yeah. Just making sure that. I'm not sure how I feel about this. To be honest. I don't know. I think the right play was to go Ghost Spider to push Moon Knight. <laughs> Probably closer to the other Moon Knight to get him out of the cover. It's just a more actionable thing. But then you're really risking your own Moon Knight at that point, too. So, I don't know. It basically was a dead activation. Like, it didn't really accomplish much, but it also didn't put him on the line anywhere he didn't want to put himself on the line. This also leads to interesting lines like Gwen shoot Moon Knight, uh, pull him in, and then do a builder at seven dice and just try and finish him off. It could also be just pull him in so Miles can go after him, so Miles can actually do something this turn. 
Yeah, she could uh, shoot him, pull him in, walk back onto the point, and let Miles rotate up north. That's definitely a good option as well. Um, it looks like Moon Knight's going into somebody, either other Moon Knight or Gwen. And he's having a slightly better time of it so far with two successes. But the reroll, two blocks, so no damage on whoever this is. So he's doing the uh, throw bullshit strategy. Yep. Second strike. Ooh, double crit. Oh, and to block crit. So three successes from the attacking Moon Knight and two blocks from the defender. So we'll finally find out who is being shot. It was Moon Knight. Moon Knight. So right now, both of the Moon Knights are actually having very comparable activations to each other, right? Uh, oh, it's, a, it's even a Khonshu for perfect symmetry. So... <laughs> Uh, that looks like... Oh, that's why uh, Moon Knight didn't get pushed on the previous attack. Because uh, he used he the... Used it. Um, yeah, he chose yeah, the... a con cube defensively. Mike did not use it here, though. Uh, and he takes no damage. So actually, uh, despite going first, which was something he didn't want to do, and having an underwhelming Moon Knight activation, the enemy Moon Knight essentially does the same thing, but worse. In <laughs> Mike's Moon Knight. And it's just a real letdown round two, you know? And so I think Both this is just generally just... a huge win for uh, Mike so far in the early game. He's yeah. up on VPs. He's slightly up on a... Well, he's not really up on attrition because Valkyrie randomly half died. Um, True. But his, his Moon Knight got Moon pushed away. Getting, but yeah. like, I think that was like the better place anyway. Oh, geez. Yeah, and now both the Moon Knights are locked behind the Daily Bugle, <laughs> just like fighting in like the alleyway with the trash. <laughs> Nobody cares about the game other than Moon Knights right now. <laughs> Dude, it, they're just they're frustrated with so many personalities. They don't know what's happening. Forget the Black Order invasion. We have to fight now. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone came here for Dormammu, but stayed for the Moon Knight Mirror. Yep. Exactly. Hey, man. I, I'm glad I got Dizzard, one of the biggest Moon Knight super fans, to be here for this. Well, you see, like, what okay, they did wrong so... is they're not playing X Force. It looks like Valkyrie's <laughs> going to go. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a charge into range of Black Cat where you can throw the size 2 car. Uh, ideally, somewhere where you're also baiting Ghost Spider short move. Yeah, like, killing Ghost Spider here is Or all actually, if you're. Mm, so he just walked there? No. no he didn't way. pay for charge. He so might have said I, th it. I think he's no, no, I think he's trying to bait out the spider tracker by walking and not charging. So now he can, can charge up with a charge if she runs away. Did it like actually this. work? <laughs> yep. What a savage. Oh, he, did he change his mind? He changed his mind. Yeah, All right. and so now the upside of this, I think, yeah, I think he's going to Warrior of Legend to Dragon Fang. Yeah, oh, for he's five. Doing I think it. this is exactly why he did it, because he had five power exactly. So you walk up and you threaten it, and if they don't spider track her away, you just Warrior of Legend uh -oh. uh, spend her. No uh -oh. wild yet for Mike. Oh, thank God he got the wild. <laughs> Uh, so that's just a casual seven successes. Um, Web Warriors has three with a reroll hanging, so it won't take her out. So, four damage. Oh my god. She lived through that. Head is bleeding. And she's bleeding now. Uh, and then a strike's gonna follow this up. And if Gwen gets taken out, this is terrible for Matt. And with four successes, I mean, yep, that's a dead Gwen. Um, and that essentially means this whole southern flank has collapsed. Um, and because the Black Cat less and Gwen, yeah. Because you're just going to shake it and be done. Miles, at best, can do, like, web swing, move, move to contest Enchantress. Um, yeah, so because Mike doesn't have Pryo, killing that character has no consequences. Well, it, that's not quite true in the sense that uh, dazing a character before they've gone gives your opponent extra rope to work with, right? But really? with this current board state, Matt doesn't have anybody that they can readily daze before they can go. Right. Outside of like Enchantress walking up and randomly one shotting Gwen, right? Uh yeah. and yeah, it looks like Matt just elected to pass and just bait out some moves. So we're gonna see Miles just kind of move back up onto the point and chill. 
Um, and now, I mean, depending probably, on whoever goes, probably a mile to go. And yeah, so I think if Matt goes with his Enchantress, you're going to see Gwen go immediately afterwards, so you can hold Enchantress yeah. to bow off Miles if he makes the Desperation run south. Um, if we see Miles go first, then we see Enchantress to bait out Ghost Spider after Enchantress, I think. Um, and since it looks like Enchantress from Matt, we're probably going to see Ghost Spider immediately next. I expect to see you walk up onto the point within three, beam her, bow her, maybe throw a dumpster at her. Um, well, you're probably not going to throw the dumpster at her unless you roll a bajillion saps, and if you roll that many saps... Oh, well, she only has one power, too, so... Beam and bow. I like Maybe what beam and throw if you one-shot her. Rather, rolling for the beam. I like what Crabulous said about, really, it's Moon Knight actually just fighting himself the entire time, and there's only actually one Moon Knight there. It's just all hallucinations. Okay, so Gwen takes nothing but gets sapped, it looks like. No, it's actually tough because you kind of want to have the web line. Yeah. Hmm, that's tricky, actually. And then you're going to get bowed. Yeah. Do you think this would make you want to R&D? Because I think that's a VP right there, you know? Uh, if you had single move on to the point, I would consider R&D. But the problem is I don't think you can single move on to that point anymore. How about this? You mm. you move long punch, get one power R and D, or just be happy with like that. That just seems really dicey into Enchantress. Though no, I you... guess you can always hold the advanced R and D until afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I think fishing for that's probably the best play here. He got uh, the end scroll. Up testing it best, anyways. He got the scroll. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the the scroll just got picked up. That's oh. huge. Now it's worth it. Um. And damn. Yeah. Okay. That changes things, everybody. Well, now it makes R and D worth it for Mike. Hmm. I mean, he needs to. Well, so Miles is just like gathering power for a nice like electro shock or something. Yeah. So I think to ensure this, you do a flat builder instead of... Oh, but then you don't get the move. That's why... Ah. Yeah, so he can this move is... for free and pull, I, I think, and then bring her closer to Miles. And you're just scoring a yeah. VP. It, it seems like the play. You got to still get a hit through, though. Yeah, That's if you good. get her off the point, you're going to score 3-3 three, three or 2-2, two, two, depending on how Miles plays it out. Um, either of which I think you're very happy with. <laughs> Shuma says, we're, uh, web warrior mirror, no Sam. How's that possible? Yeah, um, there was two games out of eight that didn't have Sam in it. <laughs> That's crazy, right? I mean, if things go well the rest of the week, there'll be, what, five less Sam players? Four <laughs> less Sam players? <laughs> Ideally, they're all dead. <laughs> Okay, I don't like this Enchantress line from Mike. It opens you up to Miles contesting down here. Um, and you gone also Gwen. could have positioned such that you could have bowed Black Cat into the southeast corner. I think. Mm, I, I just think the order was wrong. Why don't you go with Gwen? Morgan uh, says Sam's the new underdog. <laughs> <laughs> No one believes that, Morgan. Okay, yeah, Miles is just going to shimmy onto his point. So now that you, now you know that Gwen's home free to do whatever a spider can. So here, oh, it's it's such a hard sell because you're going four dice with no mods into five dice reroll one, and you have to push through a damage. Like contesting is still worth it because you'll still be up on VPs after the fact. But oh man. Talk it's about not, living on a prayer. It's not here. good. What's the negative part of a scroll? You just move short? Yep. Yeah. Is that it? Your speed becomes short, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, but... Two successes ain't bad, um, but no, two crits, that's... he's already locked out of it. Yeah. So we're going to see him walk onto the point. 
Not good. Think he, yeah, they're moving her so she he can check range. Probably get on that dumpster, right? Why not? He sees it, maybe. I think he's just gonna get on the far side of that dumpster. It still gets him covered in moonlight. Uh, I think it's a little bit sus in the sense that um it still leaves him open to webline kicks from enemy miles. I would have much preferred to see him actually on the dumpster, but it also makes the trigger on the secure weird. Okay, that's gonna be end of round scoring. Four four tied. Um Matt still is holding Pryo, which is helpful considering he's got the scroll. And then we're going to be seeing the uh, vault rolls for Miles and Enchantress oh. imminently. This turn will be the first big plays going on this game. Like, it's finally something's going to happen because that scroll's out. So Mike needs to start making actions to get control of the scroll. Yeah, exactly. So like, like we said before the beginning of the game, uh, this game was going to be decided by who finds the scroll and when. Chantress finding it bottom of two isn't the literal worst, but it's not great. Um, it looks like Miles did get affected by the portal. He is front stopped by that traffic signal, so they're just going to bump him into it and call it a day. Damn, uh, Miles Chantress is, is going juice. to be the more interesting one because she's almost centered on the thing, so she's actually got a decent amount of angles uh, she can go on this well, thing. It failed, so it didn't matter. Womp womp. Okay. So I would very much expect to see Enchantress go first here to try and protect her investment. Uh, no movement for Mike. And if Matt does not protect his, or if Matt does protect his Enchantress here, I fully expect to see Valkyrie just try and KO Ghost Spider in the bottom. Yeah. Because uh, I would be willing to bleed a little bit of VPs in the short term to play a whole three threat up on my opponent. Um, and as, as somebody who plays Dormammu, I'm going to assume that he is very familiar with the attrition style of seed some board to get well, some kills. By eliminating characters, it, it makes like something like Blind Obsession more powerful. Um, getting a uh, all webbed up on that Enchantress... I don't see that happening, but it definitely has to be something Mike wants to do. Not for the slow, obviously, but getting some big dice on her. I don't know. I think he just sends Miles in after her. So it looks like Enchantress got vaulted. So. Um, yeah, you could, you could do she has jump, to go. jump all webbed up and just have Miles take her out. Yeah. I don't hate that, actually. There's no brace in this game. Oh, uh, Spider Tracker doesn't work on Enchantress either. Yeah, I think Miles yeah, just with, with how much power Miles is up, he just he just does her in. Oh, so Gwen's gonna go for Matt. Uh so I think he's betting that his opponent's Miles can't kill Enchantress. Is he trying to pull Miles away? Is that what this is? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. He can hit Enchantress, move. Keep walking, pull Miles. Yeah. I kind of feel like He'll that's what he's to doing. to downgrade the defenses. 4v2. Two hits through. Two successes oh, we're to getting none with the reroll hanging. Nope. So that'll be two damage, and Gwen goes on her merry way. Two power gain, so she didn't lose any power, really. Yeah, Gwen's a fun character to play, man. Oh gosh, is he going to go for like the double pull or something? Well, he can just pull her now. There's no reason to set up your move. True, movement. yeah. Well, hold on, can he? Because he has to do the trigger, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good point. Well, he had the power that he could have done it before he attacked Holy if he had crap. thought about it. What is this maneuver? Yeah, so he's going to pull Enchantress off the point, miles south, and just hope that that buys his Enchantress enough space. Wait, what? 
That and he he must have measured range four and dropped immediately on it. I get it. Yep. Kind of an interesting choice. I I don't know. This whole enchantress thing is kind of whatever. So for counterplay on the other side, I would actually like to see potentially you advance R&D of power to Ghost Spider and she just double punches paying to downgrade Enchantress's defenses and you just try and take her out with a four dice and a seven dice. Mm. It's cute. I don't know that Mike will think of that. And, you know, things can happen. Yeah, it's kind of dependent on bad dice from Matt's Enchantress, but... It's definitely a I'm heads up sure play. Line. I don't know if I, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but it is interesting to take your super board edge ghost spider, run double move, pull miles to save enchantress on the complete opposite side of the board. Oh gosh, he's all webbing up, I think. Oh boy. I think he's mostly doing this for the slow though. I know, but this like is like one hundred percent doing it for this. Yeah, line. it's just really interesting. Like, I don't think a lot of people would see that line as an option, right? To have your character way in the corner, be protecting the opposite board side. Yeah, I, I would like to see a top side attrition play, whether it's Moon Knight or Gwen. I don't particularly care, but I would like to see either Moon Knight attempt to daze Moon Knight or Gwen attempt to daze Enchantress here. I think. I think it's better off going with Gwen to try and daze Enchantress. I one thing that's kind of interesting is, well, I just go Moon Knight. Gets power, and he got power. You know what? I'll, I mean, he, could, he, all you've got here. He he also okay. Oh, so he it could, looks like Moon Knight shooting Moon Knight. Oh thank God he got the rapid fire. I saw the double skulls, and I was worried for him. Um, so this is going to be one or zero damage, depending on how the reroll comes through. Now he's going to do one damage chip, uh, which puts him well on target to not even need all you've got to finish off Moon Knight here. But does he all you got to go get damage on Enchantress? Mm. Do you get the Unless personality roll? Extremely hot on power. You get the personality. He gets another. Mm -hmm. Yo, do you get the second personality roll on an all you've got? Yes. Yeah, because it's uh, at the start of your activation, not the start of your turn. Yeah. It's the same way you technically take two bleed damage when you all you've got while bleeding. Okay, one block so far with the reroll coming I mean, in to see if it takes none. Otherwise, he goes pop. Ooh, so that's going to be a dead Moon Knight. I mean, it makes He's sense. Moon I think Knight's pretty right scary. on schedule for the attrition play, and yeah, he doesn't go for the all you've got here. I think that's smart it's, it's, because you it's have just to greedy. move into range anyways. Yeah, uh, there's no need. You're playing for an attrition style. You're dazing Moon Knight here. You're going to KO Gwen between Enchantress and Miles for sure. Uh, and, you got a question uh, in the chat? Does this game definitely, definitively prove who's better between Falcon and Black Cat? And I think it's like no, like. It's just not, different play well, Maybe not so yet. I, I mean, it, we'll let the game play out, right? Like, Black, yeah. Black Cat's uh, yeah, the effect game on the game. The game yeah, Black Cat's effect on the game is passive, where Valkyrie is pretty obvious, you know? Well, I mean, like, in this game specifically, like, at this moment, there's, like, Black Cat's actually not as useful as Valkyrie because Enchantress yeah. got the scroll. Uh, if Black Cat doesn't immediately go, do you see a world where Valkyrie charges her just to try and kill her before she has a uh, power for Spider Tracker? I mean, he might as well. You don't get rerolls. It's actually very hot, dicey to try to take out Black Cat. I mean, I mean, you can do the flurry, I guess, right? Like if you yeah, get the, the power. only thing you lose is Warrior of Legend, which she does. Uh, Valkyrie doesn't have power for currently, anyways. I know, but you just try to get two power and then do the spender problem. Yeah, but you, 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 you're probably not going to have so much power that you can um, wear of legend in addition to like do all the dragon fangs you want and all the throws and all the charges, right? So Hold why on. not just spend it on the other stuff that works? So who's rolling dice right now? Why? Enchantress. Enchantress into Gwen. That seems sus. First beam pushes through one damage. Oh, this is really bad. Is he going to do it again? Oh, no, 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 no. Matt, I think you just screwed up big time. 
Yeah, I think Enchantress is supposed to be running away. Yeah, Gwen's going to live, and you just gave her the second power. She doesn't need yeah. to advance R&D anymore. And she could, she she could wall web up here. You. She could all web up now and just start beating. Well, Valkyrie is going to get bowed away. Um, I, I think he was gambling that two beams plus a throw was enough to do Gwen oh, in. I get what you're saying. You, you said Valkyrie. You mean Gwen's going to get beam, uh, bowed? Sorry, yeah. I, I have a problem with Valkyrie. Oh, where... just threw something into her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye, Dumpster. It's... Oh, no she block. She needed the oh, one block. So she lives yeah. on one. That's fine. So that's exactly perfect. Yeah. And you just juiced up Gwen. Oh, my gosh. And he didn't so bow. Much. So now she's got, like, the throw punch. But, like, she could do the, her she's... throwing attack thing. Which is, like, six. What's it? Like, six dice or something? Yeah, the problem is you don't want to pick up the scroll of her, so I guess you just daze Enchantress, you try and like throw or push her into somewhere weird, and then you just drop the scroll like super far north so that even Miles can't get it. And like sure, he can come and try and daze you so you don't score the portal. But I mean even just freestyle beat down to move her closer to your miles. Oh, Mike's just checking to see what Miles is capable of. Shuma Games uh, recants and says that uh, he was joking about Black Cat versus Valkyrie. <laughs> uh, but I, I think it's an interesting question because, like, essentially in this game, you're testing very few variables. It's essentially Black Cat versus Valkyrie, Field Dressing versus Doom Prophecy, and Blind Obsession versus Spider Tracker. I mean, there's, it was a, a there's only like three differences between their rosters. And uh, because one player is prior, prior and one doesn't, that doesn't necessarily they're not necessarily going to have the so same priorities. But he's, I think checking, he's checking if he throws into that building, will Miles get to do like a move jump attack into Enchantress? But you, uh, you shouldn't need to. I would just like You to could see... just do double pay and punch her a bunch, right? Yeah, and well, you could even sneak in an all webbed up if you really wanted, or you could hold it. I can see it going either way. I'm thinking at this point, all webbed up it actually is a, would be a mistake. Is it though? There's not Cause... enough focus fire going on. Well, you, so you're essentially paying three power to get four dice across two attacks, right? Because you're going to do builder builder. So it's instead of four and seven, you're getting six and nine. Um, no, I wouldn't all webbed up. So he hadn't even moved. You don't need to, because he didn't bow you. Um, okay, so he's just... Building Doing a builder? Burning. Why didn't he pay, though? I don't know. Yeah, that I don't know. I guess he wanted to like hold it for all you've got or something. Uh, I know why. Because uh, he's no, just no, going to roll no like idea a maniac? Why. I actually have no idea why. Okay, so two crits and a reroll incoming... Um, so he's doing at least one damage here, which is good. Two damage. Okay, so that how is How many excellent. dice was that? What, five, six, seven, eight dice rolled for defense? Yeah. And that just goes to show how dicey this game can be. You can never, uh, guarantee a particular event happening or not happening in this game. Everything's, like, somewhere between 25 now and 75% he's paying the two. chance of happening. Yeah, now he's paying two. <laughs> yeah. Seven, seven dice. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Watch him not even need. Oh my god! Doing... You roll literal roll nothing. nothing. Oh, that's god. terrible. That's it feels bad. Yeah, he's not happy about that. That's absolutely ball busting because he he was on momentum to take out Enchantress and just absolutely win there, and uh, he was so tilted he didn't even pull Enchantress off the point. Hmm. That's just like a free VP. Well, Miles that's, goes up he's there. not doing that because she's holding the scroll and he wants Miles to get over there. Uh, I wonder... Oh, man. Dude, that slow is going to be devastating because Enchantress can't get over there to like do like a double move bow or something. Okay, he's measuring max one, so I'm assuming Black Cat's just going to run north. If it was me, I'd put yeah, I'd put Black Cat on that back point for sure. Of course, Valk might be able to double move over. 
Oh, Valk's definitely aiming for, like, the run charge. It's like the scene from Monty Python when he's, like, charging the castle and every time it cuts to him, like, the, the running clip resets. He's, like, further and further away every time. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. if he can't get it to stay, he's going to have to put it closer. Yeah. They uh, they they, they okay, locked it. They're going wow. to accept locking. I'm hey. I'm fine with that in this scenario because this is definitely something you could stand on like IRL in the game because like that's the actual yeah you could make that break right? yeah you could make that um, work. but yeah it's it's just one of those things where the physics engine in TTS is a little bit too sensitive. It's Sometimes not always you're perfect. Like, mm, yeah. That's not lockable, but I th th this is one of the scenarios where I would defend it. So here, I would very much like to see Miles web swing onto the Cosmic Vault and double kick Ghost Spider. Yeah, I think so too. Kill kill Ghost Spider. Uh, and you need to go with Miles first instead of Enchantress for people who uh, didn't notice. Um, spider Tracker is still up, and that's really annoying if Gwen gets to move with Spider Tracker. Yeah. But that only works off of a move action. And Miles, the only move he's going to be doing this turn is his web swing, which is a place. So he's not going to trigger that. Whereas if you went with Enchantress and didn't actually KO Ghost Spider, you can't move home onto this Cosmic Vault at the south, or you're going to trigger Spider Tracker, which you really don't want to do. So we're going to see six dice into three here. And hopefully between Miles and Enchantress, the wild. That's pretty good. KO on Gwen. Yeah, so he's threatening five damage right now. With the reroll, it's only going to be four. Uh, that's going to be three from the attack and one from the throw. That's going to leave Gwen on one. Um, oh, he's deliberating on the throw because he might want to do a spender. Okay, no, he's actually going to no. do the throw into the dumpster. Uh, losing a character here, it's pretty rough. Oh, he's just going to shake. Okay, I actually like this. So, wow, he really? just shakes slow, moves on with his life. Well, Enchantress, uh, the only thing Enchantress is going to do is beam Ghost Spider, throw the dumpster into her, move back onto the Cosmic Vault. Right? I would say he probably throws the dumpster and moves. Throw dumpster, yeah, moves, you, yeah, move, you're, throw dumpster, you're going to do shake. some combination of that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, and the only response that matt actually has to something like that is sending miles down which he doesn't want to do because of the scroll yeah it's pretty smart actually to to see that play with enchantress so real quick though why doesn't he just double move enchantress bow black cat off the point and valkyrie goes after gwen because, uh, he, because like, she can't stand on the point and take out ghost spider yeah but robbing him of a point too is going to help um, we have a dazed ghost spider, not shocking at all. Yep. What? What is, uh, wait, what? Miles just hurt himself. I think he may have misclicked. Um, does <laughs> anybody have the spreadsheet up? Who's the line judge? It's, uh, Deaton, isn't it? No, Deaton's table. I'm oh. supposed to go through the... Uh, I thought the Morgan was the line table. judge. Uh, Morgan. Uh, or there or was any um... actual accusers in the chat who are watching if they can just message to get that cleared up. The Dave Mamu or something, I think, volunteered. Actually. Oh, Dave Mamu? Maybe. I, yeah, I think it was Dave Mamu. So we've got two actions to none here. So, dumpster toss. Yep. Oh my gosh, lives, dude. So now it's gonna <laughs> have to beam her. Well, at least he has, like, the economy to do it. So it's... All right, it's not the end of the world, like, what else dead. is Enchanter's doing? Yeah, it's like, what else is Enchantress doing? Yeah, so it's like... she doesn't get to remove her slow. That's really what happens. Yeah, but no, no one else is going after her, and um, all webbed up is over. Like, he's got nobody else that's going to use it. True, but she's slow, and it's Enchantress. That's, that's fair. Uh, does 
Valkyrie move charge into Black Hat and then try and throw her off the point? I don't Can you reach that? I don't think she has the range. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see him at least move straight north on the first move just to go fishing and see what happens. Yeah, he's he's seen. <laughs> yeah, he's super far out. I th I think you still do it because you want yeah. to adopt a posture where you're holding three of the four portals anyways. Yeah, especially with him having the squirrel. And now you put your opponent in a position where if they don't immediately go with Black Hat next round, there's problems. And so now you have three problem characters. Oh. That that's why, why you don't lock. lock. Yeah. yeah, that's Ooh, why you don't hey. do that. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was an act. There it is. Okay, so we uh, heard back from the line judge. Apparently, Miles got that damage somehow. I can't figure out how. He tripped and fell on his face. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Did he... He never rolled for a scroll and took a damage randomly. No, because no, he never went up there. No, he shouldn't be hurt, Strange. I don't think. I swear I saw it go on after he took out Gwen... But, I don't know. We're already on turn four. This game's going quickly. Morgan, even... Morgan Morgan, agrees. Miles has not taken the damage. No. Well, I but don't know, man. If... if players are agreeing to it, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't I really don't. Like, the only thing I can think of is he just tripped and fell on his face. You know, he's clumsy. To be on six power and no damage. Yeah. Uh, do you think we see Blind Obsession from Mike here? I guess it's too late now, but... I mean, a Blind Obsession Gwen would be hilarious, but probably Suicide. It's, yeah, it's, it's uh, too it's, late It's now. not too late. It's um, the beginning of the activation phase. They're still doing... Power oh, Blind, Blind Obsession. Yeah, effect. I'm stupid. I'm thinking of... Um, <clears throat> you thought it was Nugget. the right role. Yeah. It, Doom Prophecy is not good enough. Blind Obsession's cute, but not great. Um... I it I don't know it he kind of needs something to help I guess he has all loved up and he's got multiple targets to go against now because Moon Knight Miles and Enchanters are over there so maybe this, this is all loved up turn which they're actually not, kind of they're not quite clumped correctly though no but is he really gonna get a clump on the scenario like better than this probably not. I think uh, I think if Matt isn't careful what he's going to see is Miles swings up all webs up enemy Miles and Enchantress and Deez is one of them. Yeah, that's that's what I see. But I could also see the blind obsession just to like really just push through extra damage. Like Mike needs to make some really good dice to yes. really catch up. So I can see blind obsession and all loaded up. Yep. And Miles Chantress has the got power. Moved. Okay. Now, now they're cooking with gasoline. Yeah. Like I, I like now I could easily see Mike blind obsessing and all webbed up Miles and him potentially even taking out both of them with just Miles. He's got the power. Yeah, he's gonna put in that cluster and ooh wee. But the real important question is how is this Moon Knight off gonna pan out? You see, that's the real genius plays. Moon Knight blind obsesses Moon Knight. <laughs> he gets an edge to get that defense dice. Yeah, and then you just KO him, and now you're two characters up. Oh, somebody just triggered. I mean, it's actually yeah. not a bad Oh my idea. gosh, the other Miles. That's actually not bad. No, it's pushing the, him closer. Ooh, uh, no, it's pushing him away, because it's going to go south. They're no. also screwing the angle right now. I, yeah, he's going to go towards the southeast fine. corner. It, it's not the end of the world, but it's not... It's also more power. Yeah, though, after like five or six miles doesn't really care in this scenario, but... I mean, he has the power. He has the power to all you all you got, even. Like, He'll he can gladly literally... take it without complaint. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. They're looking at reeling miles in and oh, just killing him first. Him. He does have all you've got uh, in field dressing online. Yeah, this has to be an all you got play, and even then, it's kind of sus. Miles doesn't going... all you got very well. Well, actually, right. maybe Enchantress does double spender here. Uh, 
uh, can people stop screaming, screaming at the streamer DM, please? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Somebody's messing with the stream review and just turned it off for me. It's on for me. Like shared between everyone. Oh yeah, it turned it off for me too. Well, I'm I don't the, know. What's... I'm the stream. The people can see it. Turn back on. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened. Like somebody turned it off and turned it back on now. But whatever. Spooch is just over there messing with stuff and. Uh... No, it's not okay, me. So I it got... looks like <laughs> proof never happened. What the heck? Uh... Oh, maybe because oh, he went through the probably car. Probably he something? bumped into the car, yep, and so they had to rewind it. There, that way. Oh, he's blind obsessing Moon Knight, which is huge because now uh, Enchantress can't double spender Miles because he's outside of range three. Yeah, um, that's huge for Mike. That was a huge play. Yep, and now uh, blind obsession the... on Moon Knight. So Moon Knight's gonna, I think Moon Knight's gonna beat Moon Knight. Uh... <laughs> Moon Knight is obsessed with Moon Knight. He's obsessed with himself. I mean, it's, it's yeah. I've ever heard. They're having it's like so a fanatic. personality dance off, like a thriller. Oh, what? Okay, blind obsession is happening. Yeah, I like I, the blind I mean, obsession play here. It. It's really good. Who do you think Matt goes with first? Do you think he just goes with Enchantress and runs away? No, he can't really run away because Gwyn's on the top. Like, he's completely surrounded. What is this range five measurement? Um, I'm assuming that's some kind of proxy for like move range three or something. Mm. It would be a little bit short of that, but I I know that that's roughly the length of a small base medium move range two charge. Yes, it's kind of weird. So Matt's in a. I mean, he's, he's had Pryo this whole game. But he's still in a pickle. <laughs> yeah. He's always the one kind of trapped, but Mike, Mike has been is the kind of down. running out of time is yes. a bit of the problem. Because yes. even if Mike does well, he's going to only achieve parity this round, probably. No, something has to happen. I mean, this well, turn he could kill he, Moon Knight, and, and then he's up two characters. Yeah, no, no, no. When, when I say achieve parity, I mean on score. I, th I think it's very likely that at the end of the round, um, Matt's holding the scroll and one portal, and Mike's holding three portals. Three portals, yeah. And so it goes 11 to 9 Matt's favor going into round 5, and now you're running out of time to hold the scroll. Uh, but at that uh, point... Part of this is, okay, Miles is going into Miles. We're getting... Miles on Miles violence. Miles off into the Spider-Verse. Oh, Who's the real Miles? He just paid a lot of power for some. Is he zapping? He's tasing him. He, yeah. He Why go for the tase? Oof. Not a, not a great got roll. The power, but yeah, mm. he's Miles doesn't have the best defense either. Probably not taking any damage. Well, he's already blocking one. So at most, he's taking one. Yeah, take one. Now Miles doesn't really. Three, four, five, six dice rolled, one block. This game is so silly sometimes. And okay, we're going to see a six dice. So this looks like it's the builder this time. Miles basically blocked nothing. Uh, four damage. We still it's, have rerolls hanging. It's, yeah. it's important. He's just that... going to functionally reroll all of them. Got one. One block, so take three. He lives on one and gets dazed by the throw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's very problematic. It's not good. Uh, Black Cat is repping advanced R&D double moves, steal the extract, so picking up the extract is a little bit dangerous here. Do you just go with Falk here? Try to say goodbye, Cat. Yeah, I think you take out Black Cat here, because she's a problem. Black Cat? The problem is you're not in range, and she's holding up Spider Tracker, though if she blows Spider Tracker, um, then you've... Uh, what's it called? Uh, she can't steal the extract if you get it off of Enchantress. Oh, uh, this must be some kind of double short measure pull thing going on. Oh, there's That's no world that. where his Enchantress doesn't have... Oh, his Enchantress is still slowed because he had to move back onto the point. And they're both slowed, there. technically. 
yeah. Well, uh, technically, Enchantress isn't yeah. slowed. If she did an advance, it would not be forced down to sort, but that doesn't matter in this game. So for all intents and purposes, yes, you are correct. <sighs> okay. This oh, is a this weird is... one. No, I think his line is to take out Black Cat with Valkyrie, and then Moon Knight's going to take out Moon Knight. All you got, take out Enchantress. Or try to, anyways. Um... I'm not you also sure have I Gwen. agree with that line just because Spider he, he needs still to get these girls so far away from Enchantress. Spider Tracker's still online, and there could be some really wild play so, with Black Cat. So the thing is, is Moon Knight has power; he can conch you, which is going to push Moon Knight place one okay, on the other Moon side. Moon Knight's going. He got bonus attack dice, so <laughs> Moon Knight's going to be bye bye. Yeah, so we're probably going to see a Builder here. Eight dice reroll any. It could be a bonus stuff. Yields a lot of cool stuff so far into two so five and yeah re-rolling two is here. bow staff is that right yeah. yeah eight dice bow staff so six successes into two out of session plus two dice so yeah yep yeah, so that's going to push through four damage do you just like. leave him staggered and, and stagger try him. to like move kill and chance no, i i actually I think don't he... super hate Move all webbed up, all you've got. I, no, why? Why doesn't like? Why doesn't he conch you? Push him, bounce off the other side. Uh, like, because, well, a he's only, only going to do damage. Resolved, he'll be dead. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Damage. And I B, forget if he blocks with that. his well, he just attack. died. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about the fact he's on his backside. Well, blind obsession did its job. Yep. I think he was really sad he didn't get the one shot, but what are you going to do? I think he's, deb he's debating on all you got, I think. He, he was can't do it he now was... because he needed yeah. to move. Yeah, He was he was hovering over it. He was like, eh. Man, it would have been huge, though, if he took out in one shot there. That's like a death to Enchantress changes the whole game. I don't know. I think the line, though, was like his first attack is Khonshu into him. Like... That's nine dice to get to push, teleport. I mean, this game is now five versus three. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely going in its favor. Like, it's helping, but Do he's Doom also running out of time. Is getting weird, but you could Doom Prophecy into, like, actually, Moon Knight could Doom Prophecy, and it would be nuts, right? Okay, so yeah. Enchantress is going to move and try and KO Ghost Spider with a single attack. And throwing a size one lamppost at her. So it's like if Moon Knight doing prophecies, like who's going after him, Enchantress? Like he's not going to roll on def uh, physical defense anyway. So oh, it's not. Gwen just took two from a lamppost. She might get one shot here. Oh boy. That would be tragic. That's awkward. On the bright side, though, if Enchantress flubs this, this I think Gwen it's a. Lives, it's he's doing his spender. You he's can go spender. with. Uh, Oh, Gwen only rolled one block. Yeah, that's oh, big hit Oh no, too. that's KO'd. Oh god, that's probably game right there. Jesus. I don't have rolling trolls like that. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's game. Like, I don't know, I think he dooms with Moon Knight next turn. Valkyrie takes up Black Cat here. Um, uh, so, so the problem is that Matt's going to widen his VP lead here. No, I yeah, I absolutely agree. Yes, like because uh, Matt very Mike probably is... going to be three to two in score. So the extra one VP means that he straight up needs to win the scroll both rounds. Yes, uh, and hold a two VP lead on round five and round six, or he loses, and he's not even going to have prio. Yeah, but so, you can't count out yet. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying uh, he's out by any stretch of the imagination, but he is walking on a tightrope for the rest. He's of He's in game. a lot of trouble. I, th it's bad actually. No, it's definitely I bad. Actually, but I think he does yeah. the Doom Knight next round. I, my, my biggest concern here is I think Spider Tracker. Well, I guess if you Spider Tracker, then there's no power on Cat. I mean, does he just? Go with Miles to try and take out Enchantress here because he needs to get that scroll off of her this round. Miles like he really is dead. does. 
Miles is dead. Oh so shit! You're problem. right. Yep, that already happened, didn't it? And and it's uh, Valkas are getting up there. Like he'd get one attack, wouldn't he? Okay, Maybe. So, ooh, Black Hat's looking to try and stagger Enchantress. It looks like. Oh no no! This is Mike looking to try and go at Black Cat, but he can't even single move into range three. Not taking out Ghost Spider and removing the slow is going to cost him huge. Man, it's crazy. I would consider maybe an R&D onto Valkyrie and then do like a move Just charge into Enchantress and then all you've got. You think he throws Black Hat first? It's like he, uh, he's going to reach no, him anyways. No, he can't afford mind. it. Yeah. Plus, Black Hat would be able to reach him anyways. Yeah, I think I think the Valkyrie play is his play. I don't know if he sees it. It's got to be all you've got. This is all you've got was invented for this moment. <laughs> uh, well, mm, the problem no, is Black Hat's then Cat could go, could go you pick it up. You need to pass. You you yeah. should either pass through with Black Hat. Go with Enchantress. Hold Valkyrie last. Okay, so but then it looks, yeah, then he just staggers Valkyrie. Yeah. But then I, I don't know. Maybe a move. So didn't... the problem is Enchantress cannot rotate at this point at all. Um, because since she's slowed, she can't yeah. double move onto any point. She can't shake move onto any point. So she's stuck there if she wants to score VPs. So you either pull her off now with the expectation that she's going to help you win more later. Um, it, it, so to me, it essentially comes down to like... You know what? Actually, the miracle has to come from Moon Knight, probably. Yeah, Moon Knight's going to have to like roll a crit or like walk up and just unload but the problem is whoever he goes with uh black cat or enemy miles yeah is they'll going just pick it up go and follow up it's, ugh, it's gross and enchantress can't double move into bow range just move move all you got move <laughs> no i think he says all no like but like, look at his Honestly, the all you got could clear the slow, which is like the most annoying thing happening right now. Uh, how much power does Chantress have? It's got six. If she had more and could like layer in a throw or something, I would be a lot more whelmed. Well, she gets a single beam, I guess. Losing Miles at that perfect one health was really just horribly backbreaking. Yeah, that that one was rough because I'm fairly certain he didn't like roll any blocks on that roll. He rolled like no or blocks. He, re he re rolled none. His first was one dice for one. Yeah, he, one block on six dice, and then I think like one on six yeah. dice or something. And th that was exactly the kind of play that Matt needed to go for. He needed to daze Miles before he went, and I don't think it was super likely. I thought it was super sus, because you get a seven dice and a six dice into somebody who's getting three dice, re-roll two, re-roll one, can re-roll skulls. I don't think you're going to push through the five damage that way. But no. sometimes you do, and he played to his out. Yeah, that was huge. I'll be right back. Sure. Oh, Mike's deep in the tank here. Yeah. So, like, what's the possibility of him? Because I mean, like, yeah, Cat's gonna go, uh, Spider Cracker if he charges her, uh, and he's not within two right now of the Valkyrie. The only thing about uh, Cat's Spider Tracker, Spider Trackering, is that then she can't really do anything afterwards. Yeah. So why doesn't he just go after Cat with Valkyrie? All you got after that, off of that, and get up to Enchantress. Like, yeah, it's not good to actionable this turn, but it's it's gonna slow down next round at least, and it gets him off of the point. And that way he's only scoring three. Maybe he doesn't see four. the R and D play because you got an R and D Valk to make things happen. Yeah, um, but I just I think that's his only play right now is Valkyrie has to like I think Valkyrie's gonna go for Enchantress at first. I think he has to go for Cat. All you've got, then go after Enchantress. Like yeah, it kind of seems wasteful. It's not the most efficient, but he 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 can't, there's no point of going after so Enchantress if what Cat's you're saying there. is he needs to just roll builders and get lucky to get a lot of power. 
to do things basically essentially yeah like play play like i do you know you just get lucky that's all you do <laughs> yeah but i don't know like that's like that's that's the only line i see right now like if he yeah. if he goes after enchanters immediately then like if he moves here uh cat might spider tracker to go up closer or he saves it i don't know um but if he just goes after Enchantress, and if he does get the scroll off her, then Black Cat's just going to swoop it up regardless. Like, either it goes on the ground, Black Cat double moves, picks it up. If he picks That's it up, That's why Valkyrie Black... needs to be your last activation if she's actually going into Enchantress. Yeah. I think he's just trying to bait the Spire Tracker out here. And then here he should, if he doesn't Spire Tracker, I think he just does a Builder, and then all you got. And then um, attack Black Cat again, charge into Enchantress. I think that's his only line he has to possibly get it this turn. It's ri- also, super risky. I'm not <laughs> for a TKO by dazing Black Cat. And you just yeah. promise to yourself that you're going to daze both Enchantress and Miles next round and then KO them. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I think the play here, though, is like attack Black Cat here. What's fascinating like, to me is. Uh... How few tactics cards have been used? Yeah. Oh, he might he might try and throw Enchantress South, which Maybe. might open up double move bow deal. Uh, what? Oh, then, throw her towards the other Enchantress. But if, Enchantress. But if you do that, I'm fairly certain Black Cat just walks south and staggers. Yeah. Your enchantress. It costs him VPs unless he gets the elusive trigger. I mean, Mike's like basically no VPs on board here. Yeah. So I would. Yeah. Charging charge. I would like to see downgrading her defenses. I think the issue with that is he has the potential to KO, uh, daze her right here. That I don't think he wants to daze her. I think you're perfectly fine with dazing her because mm. you daze her, then Cat gets the scroll and nobody can stop it. Maybe though you're putting the scroll near Moon Knight. Big like, hit. Well, when uh, Enchantress rolls like that, uh... he might actually just have it without downgrading defenses. Oh, Four successes man. or one block one? so three. And then throw her into one. The... Well, you can't throw. really throw her into anything. I think you just throw her in the general direction of Moon Knight and say, like, you're super far from your allies and somebody I've got will kill you. You're not standing on the point. And then, like, what, what do you do with Black Cat in this situation, right? Like, she's not in a... Great Why is he always one that. off? <laughs> <laughs> His opponent got the perfect. Oh, can I... you throw the dumpster into her? No, it looks yeah, you probably. Uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit, maybe a hair. But he's he's he should at least check it, check it for us, Mike. <laughs> check it. <laughs> you definitely, I think the only out is Moon Knight, but the problem is then Enchantress goes first. Maybe even dazes Moon Knight, and then it's like now you're all alone in the corner. Well, you've got Miles and you've got Valkyrie up there. But Miles is pretty far if you start throwing. It's it's like a gamble, whatever you do. Is it worth it for Mike to like wait? So Black Cat goes, he just throws Enchantress down, walks or shakes with Enchantress, walks all you got, walks, walks, takes the um token off of Enchantress, like just to rob him of the two points. It might actually be worth it just so that he doesn't have that point lead. Like, yeah, it's super just wasteful of all you've got, but he, he like he really can't be letting him have the scroll this turn. Black Cat's the problem, though. It's really hard to stop her from double moving somewhere where she can... Well, that's... Maybe if you throw her all the way over here and no, that's, up on the building, No, that's, but... that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Next, oh, he's all got it. With, oh, uh, all you got. There it is. But now the issue is Black Cat's. Black Cat's gonna come in and get it. That was the only issue. But what I was saying was, if he throws Enchantress towards Enchantress, and then Enchantress shakes low, walks all you got, walks, walks, steals the token, 
Black Cat's already gone by that point. That way, it's just robbing him of the two points, and it evens the VP score. Yeah, it's wasting all you got, but you're not giving the possibility for Black Cat to get the token. Yep, Enchantress dazed. Oh my god, does he... Oh, he doesn't have the power for it. I was gonna... Well, oh, he, he has advanced turn D. So, you throw the scroll up this way, and then what you do is you walk back down south, throw Black Cat down behind the truck, because she doesn't have wall crawler. Oh, yeah. get wrecked, no wall crawler. Oh, Not wait, no, there's spider tracker, though. Yeah, and if But she, then she doesn't well, have power to pick up the scroll. But he has advanced R&D. Yeah, but then then you still blow two tactics cards to what get the scroll? Who cares? You win, you win. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, but I mean, it, it gives you more breathing room on the final two rounds. Like at, at this point, you just have to maximize how much you can screw up your opponent, right? Oh, he's just gonna oh, he's pick, gonna it, pick up it up and, run and away. he's gonna force this. Interesting. I'm not sure if I. You with this? Wait, what is Because you're only moving short and it's going to place two off of your drop body. So I don't think there's anywhere where you can go where she can't single move pick it up. Like, even direct away, I don't think you get Because, like, max two place back. Like, what? Mm, I do not like I feel like you should have measured this before you picked up the scroll. Yeah. Uh, I hate this. Why would you do this? Yeah, I'd rather just throw it towards Moon Knight. But like, oh my god. Maybe it's... Mm. Like, yeah, I would have just dropped it straight at Moon Knight, walked at her, and said, if you don't spider track her right now, I'm advance r and throwing, so you can't pick it up. But then if she, yeah, advance r and uh... Oh, picking it up such a fucking waste! Yeah, no, but the the spider tracker thing, I think, counters the whole strategy, so... I mean, that's the thing with those kinds of cards. You have to you have to force them to play it at some point. And Mike's been doing a good job of baiting it out, but <sighs> this play ain't it, Chief. Yeah, see, this could have just been further away. He's just gonna right, double get it anyway, so it doesn't literally change. Yeah, anything. that's fair. So here, I'd very much like to see Doom Prophecy, um, Moon Knight. Same. I mean, maybe that's what Mike was planning on, was I just hope for Doom Prophecy, Moon Knight goes The problem here. is he has to walk in, so you need yeah. a crit, or you need one of the most insane pop-off rounds I've ever seen, and Enchantress is still threatening to beam up. And you get Pryo, so Black Cat probably runs. Mm. There's a lot to not like here. Enchantress is kind of like in a prison on the other side of the table, too. Yeah, I think in retrospect, Enchantress was actually a mistake here. No, dude, listen. This was all predicated on luck bait on a scroll opposite side of his Enchantress. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about deploying Enchantress south. I think she should have gone north. and Gwen No, I mean, it, well, he's not psychic. Like... He, his positioning was fine. Both players basically had the same strategy. Just one got a scroll and the other one didn't. I mean, what do it, you it do? feels like the north flank was a bit too underdeployed in retrospect. M maybe I'm just letting. No, I mean Mike was controlling. Been... He was. I mean, he, Mike's focused on control, but I mean, at the end of the day, both players were controlling each other, and Mike was coming out ahead. It just didn't pan out <laughs> with. Uh, the scroll you know. problem. Yeah. The scroll really just changed the entire dynamic of the game. My, dude, if Mike got removed that slow last turn from that throw, it would have changed everything too. The 
the what is it? Ghost Spider surviving that dumpster really messed him up bad. Morgan says cat double moves and grappling hooks away. Means Mike needs to hold all four at fourth round six. He doesn't, well, uh, uh, minor quibble, but I, he doesn't need to force all four. He just needs to daze Miles and Enchantress. Or sorry, daze Miles to force around six. Because they already did score, right? Am I crazy? Or No, they haven't scored yet. Oh, fuck. Uh, scoring all four doesn't do it then, because Matt's going to go up to 14. Yeah. Scoring three. So the you, wait, what? Uh, the scroll they, by itself. They scored. Right? Did they? Okay, they did score. Yeah, okay. Oh, um, crazy. Yeah, so I, I think at uh, this point, Mike's only hope is like TKO, which is problematic because Black Cat's healthy, and she's the one holding the scroll. Uh, Miles is healthy too, right? So you got to yes, take out two but healthy he, characters. He is mildly less problematic than Black Cat in this moment. Um, since Black Cat has to run, I actually kind of look like Doom Prophesying Valkyrie here because Enchantress is like the only physical attacker. Like if you leave Black Cat there, like to try and like kill Valkyrie, you're gonna lose. Um Uh still all you've got on Enchantress could be worth suiciding to kill a Valkyrie. But then I guess Moon Knight activates. Yeah, that's the thing. Then you give up tempo on the Black Cat Runaway. I don't like, hate either that, Valkyrie... Actually. Wait, Valkyrie no. can't use Doom Prophecy. She doesn't have enough power. Oh, yeah, because she spent down... Uh, she would if she didn't pick up the scroll. I mean... Uh, and then Spider Tracker's online. Why does... um? Hold on. Why does Black Cat have four power right now? Because he got pushed by the portal. Oh, right. Yep. Well, that's also incredibly good for him. Because he okay. can do the grappling uh, hook. Enchantress. Oh, no. Valkyrie got pushed by the portal. Oh, this is huge. He can Doom Prophecy charge now. That's fair. No. Well, no, he can't. Doom Prophecy costs three. Or, sorry. Doom Pro well, he has advanced R&D. So, actually, yeah. True. So he can Doom if, Prophecy and then If he sees that R &D line, R &D. yeah. I don't know. I think Enchantress just nukes Valkyrie if he dooms her, just for, just for the principle of it. Why? Uh, he's got. He's yeah. got. He, he's got all you've got. Like okay, example. cool. Then Moon Knight just tries to uh, all webbed up Daze Black Cat, and then you've just so, KO'd Valkyrie. How the fuck is Miles going to? He gets move swing one attack into Moon Knight, and then your Miles follows up doing the exact same thing. You love that. I don't know, this is about to get weird, guys. Yeah, the, the correct play is for Black Cat to run away. This is a weirdly 2v2 right now. Because Enchantress is stuck in Nowhere Land. Miles versus Miles is not really well, doing much. Yes, but they will come in, potentially, and be relevant, which is annoying. Oh, man. Like, they do matter, but they matter more for Mike than they do for Matt, because Mike has the last activation. It certainly is intense. i got to be honest with you guys. I'm glad I'm not playing this game. So, it looks like Mike isn't Doom Prophesying, which... I feel like you have to at least do it on, like, Moon Knight. I think you do, yeah. It's Moon Knight or Valkyrie, 100%. I agree. I really like doing it on Moon Knight. But like or on Valkyrie, but like I get why you would be uh, a bit concerned about doing so. I mean, all webbed up is still super strong here. Oh, they finally fixed the damage on Miles. <laughs> well, that's so weird. Better late than never. 
I, I'm just kind of holding my breath here. I do want to play Doom Prophecy here. I, I, it might be easier for us as commentators to say it. Oh, there it goes. Yep, Doom. Yep, he's pulling the trigger. Okay, yes, this is an excellent move because On, Black Hat Oh, maybe he sees the R&D play damage. and hopes your, his opponent doesn't. I mean, Spider Tracker's still in play, so you're going to move, bait it, and then charge anyways, but... Um, and realistically, uh, you're going to try and kill Enchantress. If yeah, he he's going to have to go for Enchantress. Moon Knight has to take out Cat. Okay, we're seeing a spender into somebody. And since dice are being rolled, it looks like it's into Moon Knight. Moon Knight's going to block two at the very Black least. Cat just spent to stagger. Yep, no elusive. This is huge. Huh, She's going to do it again on Valkyrie. it looks like. Oh my gosh. He's going to hope for elusive and have everyone staggered. But then he has no point for, he can't spider track her. He got the elusive. Oh, yeah, geez. this time he got the elusive. Wait, what the fuck? Did he, oh no, he did hit. He's just trying to get outside, make sure yeah, he get outside thought... of Conchu. Um, is this a rules issue? Because, oh, it's not a slow, so he could move medium, right? Uh, he doesn't have a medium move effect. He he does. There's an oh elusive is just short. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it was a medium move effect, he could because it isn't slow. Like slow the actual status makes your right. advances move right, slow. Right, right, right. Roll because it's like a weird shortcutting because they wanted to tie it to the life cycle of actually holding onto the scroll. Just makes your speed slow. And because they couldn't find. So it now he's before. pressured Valk into this situation where she has to. Move one shot, so on, and she's. I mean, the, he's at a range of Moon Knight doing all webbed up, which is awful. Well, she never benefited from all webbed up, anyways. No, no, but Moon Knight wants to all webbed up and then throw crap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a shitty uh, situation. The the stagger on Valkyrie is really annoying. You just have to charge. If he got double elusive, enchantress. If he got the double elusive, that would have been insane. Yep. Uh, here, I would like to see charge into Enchantress or Black Cat. I actually think either is acceptable. And if you get power to throw, you either throw Black Cat back at Moon Knight or you throw Enchantress into Black Cat. Just charge, like. charge into the middle of them so that way if he does trigger Spider yeah, yeah, Tracker, yeah. he still yeah. has. Yeah. Uh, no, he can't move with anybody with Spider Tracker there. Because Black Cat has no power and yeah, so yeah, is not a web warrior. So, so yeah, that's not a problem on board. You just charge Black Cat well, and you throw her towards Moon Knight. I think he I saves cannot. it. Ooh. No, I think he might be saving it just because if he goes, then Enchantress just steals the scroll. He's looking if he can like throw Black Cat down an Enchantress. No, that's never gonna work. Moon Knight's your only salvage. Believe in the power of Khonshu. True. Khonshu's pretty great with all webbed up. Just one shotter. Enchantress is a real problem here. If Enchantress just bows Moon Knight away, that's really bad. I mean, I don't. I gotta say, it's this is pretty rough. I mean, if you think about it, Mike's all you've got last turn actually didn't change VPs at all. I mean, it, that's it, what I was saying. Mike that's, takes scrolls here. Yeah. So, so here's the other but, problem: by Mike uh, dazing Enchantress, it's actually harder for him this turn because imagine now Enchantress is at one. Yep. Like okay, so I mean, this comes back to like what I said. Like you literally, if he shakes the slow one Chantress last turn, moves up, all you got is move, move, seals it. This is after Black Cat's already gone. It evens out the points, and Enchantress dazes for beginning of this round. Like, and the points are easier for Mike. He's looking to see if he's got like a double move, bow, throw on. But even if you did, that couldn't be worth it.
Why doesn't Miles go into Enchantress? He's got the power to take the the stuff. Because then enemy Miles goes into Valkyrie. Like, it might just have to be the play. Well, he's got the power that he can jump in, all webbed up, and then he's got an attack against Enchantress, hope for a huge spike, <laughs> and then hope for yep. another huge spike into Miles. And oh, is this all webbed up, both of them? That's not terrible. Yeah, that's what I think. I, th I think you would rather have it on Black Cat, though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a world where you he's, take Enchantress into Black he's Cat. He's just got to take, take these people and frustrate them. Yeah, I think Valkyrie's throw. dead here. He doesn't want to throw. I mean, doesn't he? Can't you just throw Enchantress into Black no. Cat? No. Well, not on the first one. No, you'll have no attack on the next one. So there is no damage. next one. Wait, why is... only one? That was four into two. So why is he all webbing up now? And not four? Oh no, it's a crit crit block. It was three. Okay, four into three. Yeah, why like if he, he all webbed up here... No, why didn't he probably... all web up after the jump? Like, I don't see why he didn't all web up after the jump. Uh, he wanted to ensure he had power for the second attack, I guess, but he's just going to roll like crap anyways. Not push through anything. Three skulls. Hate to see it. No wild. Um, that's almost assuredly game. Yeah, it's not good. He needs damage. He's getting nothing. I mean, Miles probably just kills Valkyrie. And then it's just... Moon Knight... Moon Knight can't even attack go, uh, at all, because it's stealth. Mm -hmm. You're praying for a quit, uh, crit in the ideal world, but yeah. Miles into Valkyrie, so six into none. I mean, on the bright side, if Valkyrie randomly lives this, because, like, Miles rolls bad, which he's no, not. It's not. <laughs> um, okay, so four damage. She lives on one after the throw. Right. Her. Oh, she had already taken one damage randomly? Oh, uh, Black Cat. Yep. Okay, yeah, so she's just KO'd, and then he's going to just kick Miles at random just to throw him away, I guess. No, score VPs. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. It's pure desperation now. Yeah, he never had range. I don't know why he's going for this. Yeah, you know, she's just desperate, you know. Yeah, yeah, he he's just throwing stuff at the wall. We're uh, just gonna be move bow moon knight, and that's just just the end of that. She's slow. Yeah, theoretically, moon knight could roll a crit one shot. Black cat pick up the thing. Matt's checking the score to see what he needs to win. He needs to stop moving medium. Nope. Can you get a judge call, please? <laughs> judge. Judge. I don't know if they're noticing or what's happening, but. So he's... Nope, he's going to be. He's going to attack. Should be two blocks, I would assume, cover here. Take one on Moon Knight. Yep. Even though... I mean, I don't think... Well, I don't know, actually. With the slow, I have no idea if he's in range or not. 
And now they've like messed up the board state dramatically. Yeah. Mike's probably just going to say it's too late, it's fine. Yeah, he needed to roll a crit, otherwise he was donezo anyways, because uh, Black Hat had stealth, and he wasn't within range 3, I don't think. Oh, they oh they're moving it back. Mike still needed the crit there, though, for the Moon Knight roll. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be relevant to the outcome of the game. They're just... Semantics. Yeah. They're seeing if Enchantress had a line. You might still have. I still got the bow. Okay, so it was functionally the same thing, and I think that's game. I mean, they have another turn, but I guess, yeah, like, there's no tabling, and that's the score's too crazy. It's basically the problem. Right? We got, what, three more up? Yeah, Mike just goes all out trying to get the scroll, like, and then, and trying to kill everybody. He needs to daze everybody, like, as fast as he can, without yeah, priority. He, he can't do it, you know? Yeah, like, Yeah, no, like it's him. physically impossible at this stage. Yeah, because like, like, first round, Black Hat just runs away. And I guess Miles might be the only one who could reach, but that's like if, unless Moon Knight magically rolls a crit. Like, it's super not in his favor. Mike needs a miracle. No, there's no miracle. It's too late. <laughs> no, he, he already failed the roll. He's just yeah. walking out. No, I'm talking about first start of the next round. <sighs> No, but there's literally no... No, no, no. They, it's physically impossible at this state. Yep, okay. Yeah. They've called it, so we can hop on in for the post-interview. All right, let's do it. You at 16. Um, My Gwen needed to just live. Yeah. All she needed to do was live. My Miles needed to live. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Ooh, we... Hell of a game, gentlemen. Wow, Rough, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Loss on uh, your part, Mike. Uh, we we thought you had it in hand early, and then the scroll. Then Gwen dies. Then Miles dies. Yeah, everything and, fell apart. Yeah, and at every step where you were trying to claw your way back in, Matt was uh, throwing some banana peels down right <laughs> in the exact spots to screw with things. Um, the hell of a match. Um, yeah, so uh, let's start at turn zero. I think there was a lot of conversation about Dark Dimension versus Web Warriors here. Uh, Mike, what, what was the reason for going with Web Warriors specifically here versus Dark Dimension? Uh, should I talk about it, Doug? No, Morgan asked this question. Yeah, please <laughs> say. <laughs> okay. Well, then let's drill down into the other bit of the turn zero. So here we're seeing a Web Warriors matchup with some interesting differences here. Uh, and some of them are just by nature of you playing Dormammu, right, Mike? But essentially it came down to one different character on each side, Valkyrie versus Black Cat. And then, Matt, you had uh, Spider Tracker and Field Dressing instead of Blind Obsession and Doom Prophecy. Um can you guys talk to how you guys felt those minute differences actually played out on the board here? I actually uh, thought I was doing very well, and then he got the scroll, and I could not get over to that side of the board. Like, if he doesn't find the scroll, I think it's just game over. Like, I had so much attrition lead on him. Well, uh, yeah, just, and I, and I, even, I, even like one more turn of no scroll would have yeah. been massively different. Another thing, yeah, Mike, because then you I, could actually play for the TKO. I don't know if you remember or noticed or already said, but the fact that um, you couldn't do one damage with your throw with Enchantress cost Enchantress removing her slow. Yeah, it was horrendous. I mean, to be honest with you, it might have actually been better in retrospect to just remove the slow and not score that VP or have Valk score that VP or something. Because well, so I yeah, I probably should have done that, and I kind of mismeasured Valkyrie. I thought she could get to the back point, 
and then Enchantress would stay here. But yeah, I probably should have just like got rid of the slow and fucking moved Enchantress to the because yeah, so slow Enchantress. But it's like you. there's so many issues because like I had to like Yolo Valkyrie here because otherwise she gets staggered and then I don't do anything. Uh, and then it's like even if I do kill Enchantress, then Black Cat can get R and D and steal the scroll. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I probably had a couple misplays, but basically Miles needed to not die and Gwen needed to not die. I lost like two activations. Uh, circling back to turn zero real quick. Uh, just want to check whether you plead the fifth or actually answer this one. Uh, Morgan wanted to ask about researcher for the website, the roster here, since you didn't have prio. Researcher? Like playing researcher in my list? Yeah, for like this kind of setup. Uh, I mean, I don't think that really matters. Like, spiders don't really like research. Yeah, that's why the taco truck guys are pretty vocal about that. <laughs> I don't really like research, so... Fair enough. Um... Yeah, I mean, basically, like, I... I thought I played okay. I had a couple issues. Like, I forgot to all webbed up on Enchantress there at the end, the first attack. Um, I mismeasured my Valkyrie. And, um, and then the dice, like, uh, my characters just got dazed at the wrong times. Yeah. And I lost Pryo. He got the 16 that I didn't want. So yeah. That's what it is. You lost the 50-50 right away and kind of just trickles from there. Moon Knight rolled like two skulls this game. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, my dice were pretty fucking terrible overall. Your miles couldn't hit anything either. No. Um, and your miles rolled like something like 12-something dice and blocked one or something uh, during that yeah. miles attack. Yeah, um, I couldn't push uh, one damage on a throw on Gwen, like three blocks. Like, yeah, it's just the way it goes, I guess. Kind of bummed. I wanted to keep playing Dorm, but it is with this. I'm freed from the Enchantress meta. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for those who aren't... Uh, yeah, you're, you're about to go on a trip, so uh, perfect timing, as it were. Um, as sad as it is to see you go. Uh, switching over to Matt real quick. Uh, I just wanted to talk through Spider Tracker because I think there were a lot of interesting moments where you could have played it and you chose not to. And I think uh, Spider Tracker really is a skill testing card for Web Warriors where you have to understand exactly where and when to play it. So I just wanted to break down the... Was it four or three main points where it kind of got triggered? Or uh, there were points where you were potentially tempted. So here first um, on um, sorry yeah, I turn to right your view yeah. your west one went in the corner yep you it looks like you took the move and then changed your mind before it was too late uh, can you speak to your thought process on that particular bait yeah I mean he he had enough power to to charge and attack me anyway and I wasn't feeling too good about her surviving with enchantress right there too so it doesn't it doesn't really get her out of anything in the long run, right? Enchantress could have just wiped her out if Valkyrie didn't do it. Um, and towards the end, what I was saving it for is if Mike moved near Miles when he was, you know, he just he just moved back Enchantress back, but he w was thinking about, you know, trying to move her over here. And if he had moved this way, Miles could have hopped back onto that point. Right when he was right here. Yeah, I saw that when he repositioned on the fault, and you like checked range, and I was yeah. like, "Oh man, that would be so filthy if you pulled it off." Yeah, I could, well, could, like I was saying, he kept measuring to you know whether it should get down here or across the board, or what he was going to do. So, um, I just any time I had a, the chance to play it, I didn't think it was going to be worth it, and maybe save it for a more opportune moment. Uh, yeah. So the the other one that caught my eye was the bait on. Um, Black Cat when she was standing on the damage control truck uh, when Mike was going in. Um, there, there was a line that we were considering during the all you've got turn from you, Mike. Um, and I guess, uh, hypothetically, I'd like to hear whether you would have used Spider Tracker in this case, Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Valkyrie is just to the west of Enchantress. Yeah, right where your cursor is, right? Um, and uh, she had dazed 
or a dazed enchantress. So you could drop the scroll. You drop it straight away from Black Cat, away from the truck. And then you, uh, Valkyrie could have walked back and said, if you do not spider track her right now, I will advance R&D of power onto myself, throw you off of the truck, through the truck, where you don't have a wall crawler anymore, and you probably can't double move pick up the scroll. Uh, if he had essentially baited that line, uh, would you have uh, played the spider tracker or uh, just sat it out? Um, yeah, so he, you know, he had, Mike had moved sort of right behind the dumpster and changers he's standing on right now, and he was within range two of of Black Hat, so that's what I was, that's where I was first debating it, and um, my thought was, if he got over to Enchantress, he's either got, he's probably not going to move back towards Black Cat. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying so, in the world where he walks back at you. Oh, sure, sure, and yes. threatening to do so, would you have used the Spider Tracker in that situation, uh, seeing the advanced R&D throw line? Yeah, if he had, if, yes, yes, if he had moved back, I would have probably spider tracker away uh, although but in that case right if i do that i don't have the power to steal it anyway yeah that, that's had, the problem so, then you don't have the power yeah. to steal you can so, still advanced r&d pick up if you do have a line to run to it though uh presuming he throws you kind of southwest of where your uh right, is right now yeah, then you there. might not be able to because you have to go around the damage control truck yeah I, I mean i probably wouldn't use it then because again it's not gonna get me anything so yeah well, you, and yeah, then yeah. rather have rather have him do the throw and maybe I can get to him somehow with the two long moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he had a line where he could have blocked you from getting to it if he didn't pick it up. But then you had yeah. advanced R and D to then have the third power. So yeah, then... that's the thing. That's yeah, he can just grapple hook and grab it like that. There was really no out. That, that was oh, the... I see. So if he yeah, the truck, advanced... he just yes. grapple hooks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like I. I wanted to save Valkyrie, but she gets staggered. So then I can't do yep. anything. Like yeah. I don't play Valkyrie here. I'm playing Enchantress, like fuck off, like move. And then Black Cat gets or Valkyrie gets staggered and Black Cat just sits here. And then I lose on points. Yeah. I mean, so I had to like YOLO in and I was one success short from killing Enchantress, and that yeah. would have been really good. Yeah. And I and I knew he was going to come over here eventually, which is why Enchantress was throwing the light post and all that crap to you. Yeah, 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 like the game basically yeah. came down to like what side does Enchant which Enchantress gets the scroll. Like, and honestly, Black Cat is like kind of frustrating. Um, I mean, this this uh, if she doesn't get changed in the rework, like it's going to be kind of toxic. <laughs> uh, like kind of dull with extra stealing because if Black Cat had action on her steal, like I could have played very differently. Yeah. Right, because he doesn't get there in one move, then it doesn't help. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, I think both players played really well. I, the scroll is what it is, and, you know, it was a really exciting game to watch. Uh, the spider tracker created a lot of tension, too. Cause it's like, oh, well, you can do this. Oh, no, spider tracker. Oh, well, you can do this. No, nah, spider tracker. Um, and so even when and, you don't yeah. use it, right, the then, effect mentally is, is taxing. Another thing yeah. is Black Cat, like, hit the portal trigger so then that that got me another right, that got me stagger. The double stagger on the last yeah turn. that's crazy uh, like it's just her everything went wrong yeah. like, there was a lot of uh free power going to matt this game in general yes um uh, didn't your miles i think he hit like four triggers in five turns or something he hit <laughs> he it hit yeah he three. hit it turn two and then turn three so he got yeah. four power out of it there uh, yeah it was interesting and then, uh, he might have hit it over here too on the side but yeah, it just felt like uh, there's a lot of triggers going on. I was like, man, how easy is this again? It feels like it's happening a lot. Good old RNG crises. <laughs> yeah. But no, I I, I think... For, Matt played very well. I'm, um, for you okay. guys, you know, I was probably tense and I'm sure for Mike a little disappointing, but I'm sure Web Warrior fans would get a huge kick out of this game and uh, a lot of really heads-up cool plays. Like, just even having uh, Gwen when the far left corner on her day side uh just double moving pulling miles off the back i mean it's not like a very obvious linear play it's it's pretty crazy and you know it's unfortunate for mike that she managed to live through enchantress which created like this huge butterfly effect yeah. of, of problems but that play was great and it put mike in that situation and even miles hero you know taking out miles that was a hero move you know i mean that's that play like 
changed the entire round. So it's, it's very fun to watch all that stuff happen. You got to play to your outs. I, I was not sure what Mike was going to do at 16. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a theme of this roster is people right, just who knows what's gonna happen, right? Question marks. What the heck's gonna happen yeah. here? Um do you have any uh, thoughts on prep or thoughts about going into Mike's list? Is just something that maybe you prepared for or were worried about? Yeah, you wanna give Sploosh uh, some answers <laughs> well, for I when he inevitably listen, faces my, you in the finals. Matt, if I, I see you, buddy, <laughs> we'll high five each other immediately, okay? Because <laughs> we're in the opposite side. I know it's all Sam's fame here for it. I, I my prep was hope I win priority. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah, I'd also um, like to speak to like the turn new turn zero rules because like yeah, basically who are, this game is so heavily influenced by priority, it's insane. Like I win prio and play traps or demons, and it's basically an auto loss for Matt. Yeah, uh, I lose prio and then I have to play like spiders or something, and it's like very very dicey. Um. Yeah. But see, if this was the new rules, I could have played 17 points. I probably yep. would have played Dormammu, and then it's very different. Um, so I'm happy to be done with the old rule set. <laughs> yeah, this I felt like this last season, too. Uh, it's just every game is like, well, if I lose Pryo, like, I'm extremely yeah. disadvantaged. Which is funny because like Longshanks and all these programs say that it's a 50-50 on who wins based on Pryo, which I just find that so hard to believe. <laughs> well, even more than that, if you look at the Longshanks numbers, it's like 55% of the time player without Pryo. It's something weird like that, where it's like actually counterintuitive um, a little bit from like players' experiences. And I don't know what's going on. It might be like some weird shape of the data that just happens to be reported to long shanks happens to skew that way or something but it's very interesting you should check yeah it out. i find it fascinating because my experience has never been oh lose prio i'm fine I, it's always like oh god <laughs> i lost prio <laughs> oh no <laughs> you know um but yeah so i don't really have any other questions it's a really exciting game i hope people watch it though and it was fun to, i yeah. appreciate you guys letting us stream it uh who's the next round opponent for matt Again? It'll be the winner of Pat's game. Right. Okay, so Pat uh, versus... Who's he playing? Yeah, the Nicholas other Web Bergmark, Warrior. I think is his name. Yeah, he's playing Okay, so you're either getting Web Warriors or Sam Spam. Um, so I, I, I guess we've gotten a sneak peek at the Web Warriors mirror, but how are you <laughs> feeling about Sam Spam in the upcoming Um, weeks? You know, I, I feel like that's a list of unprepared for Sam Spam, but I mean, it's also Pat, right? So there's that too. <laughs> Have you played against Sam Spam at, at this point? I've, I had a, I had three games in the, in the league. I lost one to the other Mike in our, in the central bracket, um, one, the other two. And I played, uh, quite a bit out, you know, outside of TTS too. So. Wow. I, maybe you can answer this for me because, uh, Sam Spam players seem to be, mildly afraid of web warriors and maybe i'm just missing something but um is there something like a a reason that you can come to maybe like you win prio <laughs> I, you know i don't know but <laughs> uh, you know I, I think part of it is um they can get to sam right if they need to um and they just have as many i mean they sam sam of course has their days movement shenanigans but we can just do movement shenanigans without having to be dazed, right? So sure. So and we and we and also web warriors, you know, they can go just as wide as Sam in most cases. Hmm. Is it is there like an objective though that like you feel like is like your secret trick? Or I mean, maybe you don't want to tell me because you have to play against Pat. So <laughs> I'm okay with you not answering me. Honestly, we'll keep it under, but... under wraps for now. But I okay, that's, that's fair. Sense. I respect it. I mean, you got to take down one of the best players in the world. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I am expecting personally that Pat will win, but you never know what happens. Anything can happen in this game. So. Hey, I'm expecting for that personally too. So, we'll see. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Anyone else with questions or good? Uh, I just want to say, Matt was a fantastic opponent, and it was a tough game. Really... And uh, I don't know if it was a super enjoyable game for me, uh, <laughs> but it was uh, it was mentally stimulating. 
And, to, uh, to be fair, even though I won, I was pretty stressed out the whole time. So yeah, <laughs> but you, it's great, a really good game, Mike. Yeah, it, it's like one us. of those games that you guys will come to appreciate in time once the memory of the stress fades, but the memory of all the cool moves stays. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, I, I don't know if I did anything that cool. Like, uh, kind of just no, you're uh, you're um your Moon Knight uh, duel was a very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, just just getting in an alley trash fight behind the Daily Beagle. Yeah. Mm. My my Moon Knight tried the comic book where he's you know just hit me and then it didn't work out. Too good, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, Mike, yeah, you didn't get to make as many cool decisions. Uh, you because it felt like you're always just sort of chasing the yeah. the carrot on a stick or something. Um. But you know, I mean, you definitely were in a commanding lead, and everything looked great until that scroll appeared and ruined all your fun. So, yeah, and that that game of chicken stressed me out the most too. Who's gonna go for it first? Yeah, I'd like to see scroll and alien core be addressed along with some other crises because it's just like uh, it's so dicey, right? Like, I guess that's what you get for bringing it, but it's like the game is completely warped when. Yeah, it, it may or may not come up. It's like very hard to account for. Yeah, we maybe it's this. possible your miles should have just left back point it and just said screw it. This scroll is way more important. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I didn't prioritize the scroll as much, but then I like fall behind on points like a lot. I know it's it's, it's hard to say. And yeah. Chantress like needed to kill Gwen with the throw to get rid of the slow, and then everything opens up. Uh, it just didn't happen. Yeah, I, I wouldn't get too down on yourself, honestly. I think you had a lot of, like, one more damage would have saved you. One more damage would have killed someone. Yeah, Gwen you know? took Gwen rolled no blocks on a size one throw. Yeah, that was uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, And then she got obliterated by a mystic attack. Like, it was like five or six hits or something. Yeah, it was a crazy attack. If she even lives on one, like, she probably kills his enchantress. And then everything is different. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of yeah. bummed. Yeah, you had all webbed up. You could have pulled her in. I mean, you had... yeah. The cat was, you know, you had every choice you needed, but that's what it is. I, I just wouldn't beat yourself up too much. I mean, it's just the dice sort of rolled a certain way. And I know probably for you it was torture, but it really was a kind of cat and mouse game. And it was pretty interesting. It's not a typical, like, people blowing each other up situation. Um, so well, I'm glad it was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Matt, I reported the game on TTT. Okay. All right. Just want to confirm it. Yeah, it's funny yeah, too because you both didn't use advanced R and D, but there was like tons of turns where like having it would changes everything. It's just funny how that works. Where like Spider Tracker wasn't used, but like there was super like there was like that turn with Black Cat on the truck where you're like, oh man, like if he does this, then the tracker would counter it, and it's just crazy, you know? Because it's like a stagger if you charge into Cat, right? Yeah. yeah see, yeah. that was the problem. Was like. I had cat. I had Valkyrie here, yeah. and I could charge into Black Cat, and then he trackers forward, and then moves, and picks up the scroll. Right. Yeah. So and even though like, you there was it. like no really way out. Right. So if I don't play Valkyrie, then I get staggered, and then it's a loss. Yeah. It was just everything was bad. Yep. Tough choices. Makes me even wonder if Zemo would have been better for you just because poor Valkyrie, she's just not fast enough to reposition. Um, you know, obviously Valkyrie's yeah, great. And but it's output. 100% on the scroll, right? The scroll doesn't come up. I have like a massive attrition advantage. Oh, yeah. And Valkyrie has extra power, so maybe you could have rolled yeah. the scroll. And then he's on the wrong side of the table, you know? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yep. All right, I'm going to end the stream, though. Thanks, guys, again. It was great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah thanks, Congratulations and condolences, respect, uh, respectively.